Welcome to the summer school on effective HPC for climate and weather. My name is Julian Kunkel. This summer school is supported by EasyWays, the Center of Excellence in Simulation of Weather and Climate in Europe. Actually, EasyWays is funding most of this activity. And if it would have been possible to have you all in our beautiful Reading, we EasyWays would have been the supporter to fund all the travels, which would have been wonderful. Unfortunately, due to the situation with COVID, we, we are doing this summer school now virtually, but I suppose we do the best that we can. So let me talk a little bit more about EasyWays. So um, EasyWays, the Center of Excellence in Simulation of Weather and Climate in Europe, represents the European community a little bit for climate modeling and numerical weather prediction. EasyWays has a couple of goals in respect to high performance computing. First of all, to improve the efficiency and productivity of scientists using those important tools. Secondly, to support the end-to-end -end workflow of global earth system modeling. And finally, to establish some large-scale demonstrator simulation applications that run at the highest affordable resolution. It's funded via the EU's Horizon 2020 program. And you can see the web page link over here if you have further interest you know, to check it out. So the summer school is always by me and Luciana Petro, who is also here. Luciana, you want to say hi really quick? Better hear your voice. Hello, I'm here, guys. <laughs> Welcome. Good. So if you have any, you know, matter or issue that you want to talk about, you can always reach out to us directly and we will be very responsive, of course. So the summer school, why we are the main organizers, is also supported heavily by the Easy Waste project and particularly WP6, which is about training. And we thank very much all those members of this work package for the constructive discussions, the feedback that we received, and the steering to set up the school in the right direction. And of course, a lot of the speakers that we have, they are in fact from WP6 and directly funded by the EU, for which we are very grateful, of course. So let's look a little bit into the agenda. And I, I know that most of you have, of course, studied it on the web page, but just to recap. So from Monday to Thursday, every day looks pretty much quite similar. We start at nine o'clock with some live lectures, which is a three hour block, first 90 minutes, then we have a virtual refreshment break. Then we have a, you know, another 90 minutes block. And after that, if offered by the respective uh, lecture and topic, we will have a lab tutorial. This to, I will talk more about how lab tutorials work again, but typically it's about half an hour pre-recorded video that you can watch any time. So you can do your virtual lunch break and or do this uh, lab tutorial. In the afternoon, we have again a three hour um, lecture with a 15 minutes refreshment break for you. And then we have again a lab tutorial half an hour, which is pre-recorded. And after that, we have what we call a virtual lab session, which, but which is basically uh, self-guided. So in this time, you could also do these lab tutorials, but you can also work further on um, tasks that we have given uh, in those labs. So the topics are listed on this slide. On Monday, we talk about computation, with the first session about extreme cell computation, then the second one about parallel programming. On Tuesday, we talk about storage, Thursday about data analytics, but we also have an ECMWF virtual visit, which will be very nice. Thursday is about supporting tools, and Friday is a wrap up. I just want to really talk a little bit about that one. So we have a Q&A session about the labs on Friday morning, giving you the opportunity to ask any questions that may have arise regarding um, the tutorials that we have given to you or the tasks. Also, we have a keynote on Friday, so please join it. Um, which is a, 
about global storms and ocean eddy resolving coupled climate simulations. And we have some feedback session giving you the opportunity to talk um, and quick wrap up farewell session. So um, how is the session organized and the interactivity working? Well, first of all, a session is moderated by the respective session chair listed on the web page. We really encourage you to give us feedback and have some discussions. You can either put questions directly in the Blackboard chat anytime. We will address them. And they typically will be read out by the session chair such that they are recorded as well. You can also ask questions verbally at the end of a session. So the Blackboard room will, will be open all day, allowing you um, to interact. We will only record lectures, of course, but not your interactions thereafter. So you can use it, for instance, uh, during one of the um, lab tutorials to discuss with your peers if you have an issue. So it's really good if you attempt to stick to the schedule, uh, but it's not necessary, as we know that's difficult depending on the country you are in. But it might be beneficial to do it, in, to attempt a little bit during the sessions, and then you get feedback from your peers. Okay. Um, you can, sometimes you may create breakout rooms to scale up. Please make sure you always mute your mic. Also, don't use the video except if you want to ask questions. So the mailing list, you can also use the mailing list if you have matters for interest for the general public in this channel. Um, you can, of course, talk to the speakers and ch session chairs even after the sessions. They typically have their emails available. So the lab sessions, um, our goal was that we wanted to support this large class that we have and to give you the chance to make asynchronously some progress. So we have these two virtual machines according to the web pages and a YouTube video. Um, well, I, I'd say a couple of shorter. Um, yeah, it's about 30 minutes typically for a topic. Uh, giving you a tutorial to overcome the initial obstacles that you have with this respective topic, how to work with the VM and so forth. And you, and you should watch it during this timetable lab tutorial, but you can also do, you know, as I said, whenever it fits your personal schedule. Some, most of this um, schedule, sorry, most of these sessions will have some extra tasks that allow you to explore the topic deeper. And you may want to do them at the end of the day um, when you have this virtual lab session. So um, to interact during the school, you should you can use Blackboard, like I said. But for every lab, we have on Friday this Q&A session where you can ask the questions about it. I need to hurry up a little bit. So after the school, you will email you a certificate of attendance. We said about 70 to 80 percent of attendance of the lectures is necessary. The scale here is because we don't want to limit you know, what happens if you have 79% attendance? Well, would I get still certificate, yes or no? So that's why we give you this range. We expect that most of you will attend, you know, 80%. But for those that don't make it, it still be okay. So capture the attendee list in Blackboard during a session, and at the end, you will get this very nice attendance certificate via email. So as to mention real quick, um, what happens in 2021. We will hopefully do the summer school again in Reading, if the situation permits. And we will get an update in the topics. Also, what you mentioned on the web page quickly is that we work to, with the HPC certification forum to actually uh, enable some certificates uh, that are worldwide recognized HPC knowledge. So, um, now, we, is there any question? You can let me real quick check in the question box. So far, I don't see any questions. If you have any, now drop them. I will real quick make a poll. If you have a, to figure out if you have a problem with the VM, some people had problems with the VM. So again, if you have questions, please do so. Okay, question, second, VM. Um, 
Okay, so the poll is now on. Uh, yes, there are two virtual machines. Indeed, so there is one for the general, most of the sessions, basically, and there's a special VM that has been set up uh, by our folks from CMCC about high performance data analytics and visualization, which is needed on Wednesday, because that uses a different, different operating system. Okay, I see already in the poll, basically, um, great, 30, um, about 30 said it works for them, and three people said it doesn't work for them. That's a bit unfortunate, um, but we know sometimes there are issues. Uh, you know, even virtual machines appear not to work perfectly all the time. Okay, so that's fine, thank you. So let me very really quick say then please enjoy the week. And uh, in that sense, I hand over to Rupert, who is leading the about extreme scale computation. Rupert, please.